to our atmosphere is transparent to visible light. Mm -hmm. And what's the best evidence of that? What do you think? I think uh, the fact that uh, it, we, uh, we see the sun. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Good. I was going out on a limb, guys. <laughs> Good one, Chuck. Yeah. It, it broad daylight, you can see, you can see the sun. Yeah, exactly. And we see visible light. Right. And it comes comes through the atmosphere. But that atmosphere is not good for other bands. So what, what are challenges we have and how do we overcome it? Right. So like Earth has a super protective layer, thankfully for us, right? But that means X-ray light can't get down here. That means uh, ultraviolet radiation, only some can get down here, right? So there's all of these things that we have to do. We have to launch telescopes up space. Above Earth's atmosphere. Above the atmosphere. The absorbing the layers. Protection. Yep. Okay. And of all of the bands that don't make it through, visible light makes it through. We are sensitive to visible light, so it's a nice matchup. It is. We evolved under this star, the sun, under this atmosphere of Earth. Exactly. It would be cruel if we were sensitive to like microwaves or something and nothing came in and microwave, we'd just be blind. Is that the reason why our eyes suck? <laughs> it's, it's more reasons why our eyes suck. So, so the Hubble telescope, is one of the great observatories yep. that was launched above. And that saw what kind of light? Mostly optical, but also a little infrared and a little bit ultraviolet. Okay. And the Hubble, we all remember the Hubble, Hubble. telescope. It's still up, yeah. launched in the early 90s. Yep. And Amazing. it was stupefying. Oh, I remember yeah. just losing my breath Me every too. time I saw one of the images that was published. 